This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Few things rival a warm spring evening in Western Washington. Well, I'm happy on my own. Tacoma. I'm really starting to like this city, and I'm starting to like it for many reasons. One of them being the way it looks at night. Hey, what's up everybody? Good evening. It's been a while since I've shot some long exposures at night, so I thought I'd dust off the Bronica, walk around Tacoma, shoot a roll of Portrait 800. Got a really nice night on our hands. Blue hour coming in right now, so hopefully the first few pictures we can capture some of that deep blue in the sky. Starting over here, kind of the North End Stadium District, Tacoma. There's some really cool houses, really cool buildings and bars and stuff, and I got a couple pictures in mind that I definitely want to capture, but other than that, kind of up in the air. So I'm going to start with the house behind me here and enjoy a lovely evening shooting some long exposures. To come home, staying up till 3 a.m. Bit of a rough way to start the evening with an underexposed first image. For some reason, it didn't cross my mind that the built in meter on the Bronica might not be able to accurately meter a scene this dark. You can see that the app on my phone was registering about 10 to 15 seconds, while the Bronica's meter was saying one half of a second. I don't know how I was stupid enough to not realize that the Bronica's meter won't give a reading on anything slower than one half a second, but it took me until about five minutes after I shot this photo to make that realization. So yeah, had to do some work in Lightroom on this one to get it looking somewhat presentable. And even now I'm not thrilled with it by any means. I'll chalk it up as a warm up shot I guess. One down, 11 to go. Well, a bit of a tricky one here, gotta be in the middle of the road a little bit, but I like the leaves that are being illuminated by the street light. Really nice color and contrast. 65 mil lens, a little wide. Wish I had something a bit tighter, but I think I can make this work as long as I don't get hit by a car. Okay, I got one second, F8. This photo takes the cake for my least favorite of the night. I definitely needed that tighter lens. Also, I'm not a fan of the way the street light enters the frame. I guess some of the time, maybe none of the time, I'm happy, happy on my own. Okay, this one's reading F8, four seconds. Reciprocity, we're looking at six seconds. Okay, six seconds, let's pray for no cars. And there we go. Seems like I have a little bit of a Lincoln Town Car theme going recently. I like this photo, but can't help but wish that damn Chevy wasn't parked there. Let me see if I can get maybe an alternative angle. Uh, eight seconds f8 one of the biggest tips I can offer when shooting any camera with a chimney finder or waist hole finder and the images inverted in the viewfinder kind of reset move your head back look at the camera and just see if it's relatively level because a lot of the times I a lot of the time I get pretty disoriented when looking through this thing and then I get my scan back and I I realized the thing was, the photo was completely off axis, so I like just kind of pulling my head back and making sure that it is pretty level. Okay, F8 at eight seconds, here we go. Five point six, six seconds. That's what I'm talking about. The Chevy was parked just far enough away from the town car to grab this straight ahead angle, which is my favorite of the three that I shot. The colors are popping, particularly the greens in the tree, and I actually like the slight motion blur in the leaves. This one may even be print worthy.
Next stop, 21st and Union. I really like this street in Tacoma because there's this median uh, that's full of trees and grass and it looks really, really beautiful. And um, I, I love the street lights on this road. Uh, they kind of look old school um, from the 1900s. So yeah, I think there's, there's a few different pictures we can grab here. I'm just really interested in the, these street lights that are right up against these trees. I think it looks really cool. I think it's kind of interesting. So might take a couple more shots of uh, those subjects. All right, we gotta shoot this at F4, which is gonna give us a four second exposure, which is gonna give us six seconds after reciprocity. Really did not expect the flare from the street light to enter the frame on this one. I thought I was at enough of an angle to not be affected by it, but I clearly miscalculated. And I'm slightly upset because I think this would have been a really fun picture otherwise. I still kind of like it, honestly, and I don't think the flare ruins the picture. Sometimes I look at it and I actually don't mind it, but I'm pretty confident it would be better without it. Looks like I'll have to return to this subject another day to redeem myself. Okay, next one is a street light here that's kind of perfectly framed up by these two trees to the right and left. And I really like the tree on the right kind of popping in the background, street lights illuminating it. I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this. I'm gonna go F5.6 at four seconds. So we have 5.6 at six seconds after reciprocity. The more I look at this photo, the more I like it. It seems like something out of a fairy tale. The way the trees wrap around the top of the frame and are illuminated by the street light works incredibly well in this image. The staircase up to the house is also perfectly placed just off to the right of the light and offers the viewer a pathway to the back of the photo. The greens are really vibrant and I'm stoked I nailed the exposure. Is that a cherry blossom tree? If you watch the channel, you know I'm not a botanist. That might even not be the right term for tree life but anyway um cool tree pink leaves and stuff and then nice little street light and then the sidewalk that kind of runs down the middle of the frame i think it's a nice balanced frame from what i can see might be a little bit of another tricky meter situation but i think we'll be all right okay we're gonna do f four and a half at eight seconds a candidate for maybe my favorite photo of the evening. Originally, I wasn't super jazzed with the lens flare in the middle of the frame. It might be slightly distracting, but also adds a point of interest and offers some intriguing colors. The highlight of this photo for me is definitely the tree on the left. After some very minor research, I think it may be a Robinson crab apple tree. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm really enjoying this simple, balanced composition. Now I get another light post tree situation. Okay, there we are. Jeff's used tires since 1995. The legend. Nobody sells tires better than Jeff does, I guarantee it. Holy smokes. Big fire. Probably gonna do one wide shot squared off and then might pop out to the corner maybe get an angled shot nice and illuminated here on 6th Ave which is nice a lot of light a lot of ambient light and the shop itself is lit up pretty well too I think we'll do f 5.6 at 1 4th <laughs> ouch I don't think this scene is particularly well suited for 6x6. I'd like to get Nick Carver out here with his 6x17 to really do it justice. There's just too much negative space on the top and bottom. Although it might have worked better had I shot it closer to dusk to get some color back in the sky. For now, I'll perform a poor man's panorama and do a little cropping. All right, we're doing F5.6 on 1 8th again. 
and I've moved off to the corner here. I'm gonna get a little bit of an angled shot with this big billboard in the background, which I think is kind of cool. It's nothing related to Jeff's used tires, but I think it just adds another element to the frame, something else to look at, and it's lit up quite nicely. So final frame of the evening, let's hope it's a good one. All right, that's a wrap. I was originally gonna shoot this location on the large format camera. That was gonna be the return of the four x five at Jeff's used tires. I think I will come back with the large format sometime this summer and shoot a photo of it on four x five. Haven't shot that thing in over a year or about a year now. So it's about time I resurrect it. Kind of miss it to be honest. Need to get my inner Brian Burks channeled again. Well, Alicia's hands are about to freeze off, so I think it's time we wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll catch you next week. Feels good to shoot some long exposures again. Everything is a little bit more interesting at night. So, felt good to get out here. It's only going to get more fun when the weather gets a little bit nicer and the temps stay warmer in the evening. Peace, guys. Hey everyone, just gonna jump in and thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for almost five years now. I host two websites with them, both my personal portfolio and my wedding films website. It's a powerful all-in-one tool that lets you create a professional website, market your business, host a portfolio, sell products, and so much more. Squarespace has a ton of aesthetic templates to choose from and editing the contents of your site could not be simpler. The e-commerce integration allows you to get your business off the ground quickly and easily with tools like inventory management, a simple checkout process, and secure payments. The customer service is responsive and helpful as well. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com bray or use code bray at checkout to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The link and information is in the description below.